going on guys this is pvz fab master and today we are playing another professional deck i call this professional stones with neptuna because this is a combination between gravestone neptuna which is still a good deck by the way the only there is some new cards in the plant meta like uh, uh the bounce of gravestone card and the freaking card where uh it's the guardian card that destroys gravestones here next door but you have to evolve it and everything but it's still a good deck but the word, it's not a complete gravestone deck anymore, it's a hybrid deck, because professional synergies. They've got plenty of professional one-drops that can combo with Jurassic Fossil Heads. All the one-drops you are seeing are professional, including Mr. Headstone Carver, which gave me the whole idea to make this whole professional gravestone hybrid deck in the first place. This can also be a professional, so you got 16 professionals off of which to uh, evolve your Fossil Head, which is plenty, and this is, of course, a great... Turn 2 play for Gravestone Neptune. I didn't really run Swashbuckler. There's no real pirate synergy in this deck. Uh, going viral is great to keep your minions attacking. Pogo mixed up Gravedigger OP. And for some environments, we're running Rocky Raccoon. Or whatever its actual name is called. I like to call it Rocky Raccoon after the Beatles song, but whatever. It's actually called like Squirrel Herder. That's, I think, its actual name, but there we go. Those are our cards. It's four copies of each card, four times ten. It's a, four, it's a whole four times ten is forty decks. I like to keep decks sort of like that. I don't want to make my decks a mess. This is a nice crisp and clean deck right here. And it's a good usually for about an 80 or so percent win rate. So, I'd say. You win about four out of five games. It's a nice, nice crisp deck. We're looking for a good win right here today. We're going against Epic Fail 143. So, here we go. Now... Citron's not a mega grow hero. I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of the pogo. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Plus we play our headstone carver on one. Play this on two. If we ever see our uh, fossil head, that's when that middle manager is gonna become useful. But for now it's all about getting our gravestones on the board. That's what it's all about. So, oh, there's our fossil head. Okay, so that's going to be our turn three play, probably. Then maybe somewhere on turn four, we might give it frenzy. I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right, so that admiral is going straight to the sumo, which is the beautiful thing about sumo here. Always plays around admiral pretty well. Or gets rid of it, I should say. So sumo is still a 3-3 after this, so that's some good tempo on the board. Uh, we'll just play our fossil head. That looks like a good play to me. So here we go. Okay, that gives us Conehead, which is pretty useless, but we're going to do it like that. Maybe we should have done it on the Headstone Carver, but I don't know. Maybe give it friendly. It would have been cool. I don't know. So it looks like maybe... Well, we don't want to play Pogo and Frenzy next turn. I mean, not Pogo, uh, Conehead, because Conehead's useless. Uh, we really should have played uh, our Fossil Head on the... Uh, Headstone Carver would have gotten rid of that. Go nuts. So, I'm starting to have some regrets here, guys. <clears throat> anyway. What should we do about this? I think we're going to play our raccoon. Get another buffed grave. We're, we're trying to race him here. We're getting another buffed gravestone on the board, so that's good. It is good stuff, guys. Don't deny that that's good stuff. Anyway. Oh my goodness, okay, well, we're going to want to get rid of these things gradually, so that's how that is. That's how that is. So he's already down to 9 health. We're down to 16, though, so we got to look out for stuff. Does this have team up? Does this have team up? Oh, wait, it got that, it got that bonus. We got that extra attack from the... Uh, Navy bean. Yeah. Anyway. No mixed up grave. No mixed up grave digger though. I don't know. It'll make the fossil head back to its uh, normal form. That's my issue with that play. Oh, okay. We got fireman again. <laughs> you saw my last video. It was freaking crazy what I had from fireman. But we could frenzy this fossil head. That might actually be lethal right here. If, we, if he leaves the raccoon alone. Which I doubt he will, but let's see. Let's see if Epic Fail is about to have an Epic Failure. Turn 4 Lethal. 
Ooh, I see it coming, guys. I see it coming. All right. Actually, he's got to roll. If he rolls well here, he might avoid it. But here we go, guys. Turn four lethal. Or was it turn... I don't know what turn it is. But we got lethal anyway. Was it turn five? I think it was actually turn five. Turn five lethal, I think. Judge me in the comments if I forgot what turn it was. Well, let's see what I played. I played... What did I play? I played... It was turn five. Whatever. It was turn five. I won. There we go. Nice, easy, crisp, crisp clean victory. Gravestone professional hybrid. It gets things done, guys. It gets things done. If you have these kind of cards, I highly recommend you still try Gravestone Neptuna. You gotta be a little cautious with those Guardian heroes, but still pretty good. The professional synergy. It's, it's a hybrid. Okay. It's a whole hot. It's the theory of a hybrid. So we're going up against an Ultimate League Rose. This might be some tough competition here, but I think we can do it. We can do it. Anyway. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. Okay, so we got professionals. We got our pros. We got our gravestones. Now what do we play here on turn one? We play our middle manager, right? We want to play our middle manager. Now, she might just, you know, well... Okay, so she's going to do that. That's And that's a good play for her. But thing is, we could play flag zombie and we could reduce the cost of our things because that's the thing. All right, here we go. We're going to rush the board, guys. Here we go. Look at this play right here. So we want our middle manager to be on the left. So here's how things are going to work. There's our middle manager, zero cost middle manager, mind you. And uh, there's our uh, headstone carver. So I don't know what she's going to do about this board here, you guys. I don't know. All right, well, so one of these things is going to get nerfed. She's going after the middle manager, and that flag zombie still survives. That's the good thing. And middle manager's attack, okay, well, she rolled a, a three and a one, so that's average. Here we go. The madness starts. The evolution starts. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. You can play a two-cost landscaper as well. Am I, am, is it crazy enough to think maybe Flag Zombie pawns in one of these decks? It's working out really well for us here, actually. Ah, she's gonna block that. That sucks! Don't goat my thing. Okay, good. There we go. Don't you dare goat my guy. So, we're gonna play Rocky Raccoon here. Ah. Ah! No. Okay, there we go. Well, I guess that's the place to wait. I wonder if we do. We're gonna use this on. We're gonna use this on you. We want it. We want this to be a full-fledged trap zone. There, going viral. Good thing. Good thing to get here. Very good thing to get indeed. That's just what we needed, as a matter of fact. I did that partially for. Oh, guys. Ah, oh, the question is, all right, I think we're gonna, should we play it on the flag or should we play it on the middle manager? Decide right now in the comments. I don't know if we're gonna play on the flag. Uh, I, I want to keep that middle manager alive because I want, oh! <laughs> See, well, no, guys, See, well, no. <laughs> the conceit right there. She can't handle the fossil heads. You could have blocked and gotten your go to five and gotten right back in the game. I mean, come on. Maybe her hand was terrible. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I just don't know. <laughs> the conceit happens right there. Oh, my goodness gracious. Ladies and gentlemen, we are 2-0. and With one conceit so far. I, I get concedes when I play as Gravestone Neptune. It's still good. It's, it's not really Gravestone. It's Gravestone Hybrid, as I've mentioned like a gazillion times. I don't know why I keep mentioning it. You probably get it by now. It's Gravestone Neptuna combined with Professional. But, yeah, that's that's the point. Anyway, so we're going up against, I think, a 34 Solar Flare. So here we go. Quest for, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going for four games and I'm going for four now. So here we go. Rank 34, Sean Cron 87. Bring it, my friend. Here we go. Okay. <clears throat> so here's... We're looking to start off in a professional manner. And she's probably going to find some way to take that out because she's Solar Flare, but 
If she doesn't, ooh, ooh, I'm liking the secret agent play here. Turn two, I think. We secret agent that. We secret agent that, and it comes back strong. Ah, never mind. There we go. <laughs> ah, never mind. You can't resist. You just simply can't resist. They five six untrickable on turn two. Who resists that? No one resists that. I was thinking, okay, here we go. We're going to make some plays here. We're going to secret agent this. She's chump blocking that. Oh, the sadness. Oh, the sadness, you guys. This is so sad. Oh, goodness. Frenzy. As if it couldn't get any more sad. It attacks anyway. As if it couldn't get any more sad for our opponent. It just got sadder. We play our landscaper and we chill. All right. Here we go. Okay. So do you got anything that's going to deal with that? Because those puff shrooms are completely useless. Oh my goodness. Well, if I was playing against an Ultimate League Solar Flare, I'd have to be worried about Briar Rose and stuff, but I don't know if that's rank 34. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I just... I just don't know anymore. Fossil Head is OP. Anyone who says, well, Fossil Head... No, it's, it's OP. It's completely OP. I'm actually more in the well, Fossil Head. Is... It's not as good as Zomblob, okay? It's not as good as Zomblob. But it's still pretty freaking good. And Sour Grapes is a complete piece of trash garbage. And going viral. Going viral. We have lethal this turn. No, oh, but we're pretty close. We are pretty close. So, don't roll double trees. Okay, well, we're one off lethal now. Alright, so we are inching ever closer. To to three and oh here we go we want to play this rocky raccoon here uh probably get rid of this puff shroom we want to if he procs his block i mean okay so here we go this is why this is why we played our that <laughs> and a second concede let's go for three in a row in this last game let's get our opponent to concede yet again against the mighty mighty neptune so good guys it's really more the professional that's winning than the gravestone, but you know. They both have their merits. In the first game it was definitely a, it was definitely a mix. It was part gravestone that was helping us win, and it was part uh professional. So we're looking for a mix out, oh, and ultimately green shadow. So here's some nice competition here. I just realized that the second deck I want to upload for you guys this week is a meme deck. I've never done a meme deck before, but I don't even really know what a meme deck is supposed to entail, but I want it to be a rose deck with Briar Rose and Weenie Beanies, because those are like the two biggest PvZ Heroes memes there is. And uh, I just want it to be all about, I want it to be all about like, how many weenie beanies you get. So I'll have the four weenie beanies in the deck. I'll have the four uh, super rare card. I forget what its name is. But it like draws you two weenie beanies. And also have four cosmic beans. To see if you can get weenie beanie the rare way by conjuring it. So it'll be a it'll be a game where I simply see how many weenie beanies I get. And it'll also be if I can actually win a game with a bunch of weenie beanies in your freaking deck. So anyway. Enough with this weenie beanie talk. We are playing another turn two fossil head just because it's very op and uh even if we had played that in lane one the untrickable goodness means it is its effect is null so that's a three three admiral we gotta look out this is an ultimate league uh, green shadow she's not messing around ultimately green shadows don't mess around here they're, they're playing their whoa Alrighty then, so it's a 6-6 six, six Admiral. Good news is, Pogo's a coming next turn. Pogo is a coming. That thing's gonna be off the board if you're an ultimately green shadow. Well, I mean, she could have Gravestone Flick. That uh, Grave Mistake card. Please don't have that. Alright, we're good to go. We are good to go. She's gonna draw a card here, but 
she can't play Grave Mistake because she only has one son. There goes that. Fossil Head is going to hit unless she has Freeze, but fr fr would Freeze affect it? It's untrickable, so would Freeze affect Would Bounce would affect it, wouldn't it? Alright, well, it didn't go for that anyway, so. She draws a card again. There's She's down to 4 health. Fossil Head is OP. It's at least kind of OP. It's at least kind of OP. It's, it's stats are OP. I think the stats make it OP. It's, it's what makes Fossil Head OP, guys. Is it the untrickable? Is it the stats? What do you think? What's what truly makes Fossil Head OP? What is your opinion? Let me know in the comments. I will... I will uh, reply to as many of you as you can uh, as I can. I think that's her way of surrendering there, and we are four and zero. I'm not gonna try for five or zero. I don't want to soil this perfect record. Um, Gravestone uh, professional hybrid Neptuna. What else can I say? It's OP. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, deck. Hope you enjoy a meme deck that I might be uploading as well. This is PVZ Fabmaster. Bye bye.